me sweet race. They call me sweet race. Stevie sweet race. Stevie sweet race. Hop in the range. Hop in the range. Take off in the space. Take off in the space. Hey guys, it's CB Gray coming to you guys live at Nerd Destiny video. How are you guys doing today? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get the Izanagi's Burdens Catalyst. This is going to be a follow-up on the Izanagi's Burdens Guide video I put out last week. I've seen so many people say they were able to get the weapon, and that makes me so, so happy. So today, we're going to be talking about how to get the Catalyst. And for the Catalyst, you're going to need to masterwork your Chalice. And to masterwork your Chalice, you are going to need a ton of Imperials. So today's video is going to be talking about how to get Imperials in Destiny 2. So we're we're gonna go ahead and get into it hopefully this does end up being helpful if it is hit the like button and if you're new go ahead and subscribe we'd love to have your beautiful faces thank you guys so much for 50k on this channel it means the world to me thank you thank you and here's to 100 so let's go ahead and get into it there's four different methods that i'm going to show you guys on how to get imperials and then after that i'm gonna send you guys on your way i don't want to keep you guys for too long i know that you guys are busy so first thing that you're gonna want to do is go to the barge on nessus you're gonna fast travel to the watcher's grave and you're gonna go where you see me going here and you're gonna go to the gigantic ship and you're not gonna be able to miss it and there's gonna be 15 chests on the ship and each one of these if you spend 5,000 glimmer will give you 150 Imperials now I know what you're thinking I don't have that much glimmer and if you don't um, go to spider on the tangled shore and then turn in your materials and get yourself some more glimmer so you can afford these chests uh, these chests are gonna reset every single Tuesday so make sure you're going here every single week and you're gonna be stacking up on Imperials very very fast now the next one that you're gonna want to do is do your Imperials from Menagerie Triumphs and so if you go into your destination section on your Triumphs and then go to Menagerie each one of these Triumphs is going to grant you 500 Imperials if you get them done so you're gonna want to go through this list and get as many of these done as possible some of these you might already have done and you didn't even know it and if you turn them in each time you'll get 500 Imperials the third thing is gonna be getting Imperials from um, excuse me your chalice itself and what's cool about one of the perks that you can unlock and I recommend going for this perk immediately this is very very important you're gonna want to go for power and efficiency too and the reason why is if we read this perk it says this can rarely grant Imperials from playlist activities so what that means is if you do the menagerie if you do crucible playlist if you do the strike playlist you have a small chance of getting 500 Imperials to drop from it and this is super super helpful because what it means is as you're grinding the menagerie for your triumphs or as you're just playing the game in general you'll be able to have a chance at getting imperials which just boosts the amount that you're getting every week and the last thing you're going to want to do is and this one's also on the barge as well you're going to want to go to the vendor that's on the barge his name is Werner and he has four bounties I believe every single week and if you pick them up and you complete whatever task it has you do you're going to get a treasure map and on the treasure map it'll say exactly where you or excuse me it'll say what planet you need to go to and if you check the map there will be an X marks the spot and then just follow the um, the X and once you get there there will be a chest waiting for you and each time you do one of those chests that will also give you a hundred Imperials and these reset every week as well so you can farm these chests and these will allow you to stack up on Imperials as well now these are the best four ways in my opinion on getting Imperials if there's ever any any other methods that you guys think are also really good put them in the comment box below so we can help anybody else with any other strategies I want to see you guys get those Izanagi's Burdens Catalyst when you guys do get them get in the comments and let me know that you got your catalyst because I want to see you guys get it I'm super excited guys thank you so much another big thing to note as always guys remember that you need Forsaken slash Daniel Pass to be able to get this so hopefully that's also something that you're keeping in the back of your head so that's all that I have for you guys thank Thank you so much for watching and with that i'm gonna talk to you guys in the next destiny video thanks i love you guys my face is equipped they shot to the lip take out the coin then i flip the corn, then I pull flip. out the thorn then it's real dragon tattooed on my hip invading like my name is zim dunking these most like a rim yes i am harder than shin making you pay for your sins the drift of the nine yeah i'm rolling with them no, i'm not fine i feel incredible no i'm not regular stand on a pedestal joke is why when he's off of his medicine for my squad i go all like an animal Guns. Got your head on the reticle, no trust You need to go level a man down But no, I'm not giving up I think that I said it